Carl Pierre here, and I've got an exciting story to share with you today, so listen up. Recently, I made a bold move and booked a consultation session with YouTube sensation Max Maxwell. It wasn't cheap, cost me a staggering $5,500, but I was determined to make it worth my while. After factoring additional expenses, the consultation came to a whopping $10,000 price tag. But here's the kicker, I need to make $100,000 from this investment for it to make sense to me. I know that's a tall order, but I'm up for the challenge. To make matters worse, I also promised my wife a luxurious vacation to justify spending all that money to hang out with some guy. So not only do I need to make a huge profit, but I also need to keep my wife happy. No pressure, right? But fear not, my friends, I've got a plan, a master plan in fact, and I'm going to share it with you here today. Get ready for a whole lot of inspiration. So sit back, relax, and grab a pen and paper because I'm about to drop some serious knowledge bombs. You don't want to miss this one. The first thing that we need to talk about is the budget that I need to set aside to make it all work. In addition to the cost of this mentoring session and the travel expenses, I'm comfortable spending another $10,000 to ensure that I have the outcome that I'm looking for. This money will be used to maximize visibility, running specific campaigns using footage from the day with Max. Now you might be asking, why am I willing to spend more money for visibility? Well, the main reason is because I don't control how the algorithms will distribute the content and how what we film will perform. So to compensate for this uncertainty, I want to be able to boost that content that I feel stands out. As far as how to make $100,000, it's important to talk about which products and services I can convert on through a digital marketing and sales campaign. As it stands, the digital products I offer are courses on how to start a nursing agency, how to invest in one to four family real estate, and group mentoring. The average price of these online courses is $2,000. However, there are other opportunities to generate revenue through other services and investments. I turn an average profit of $50,000 on flipped real estate, so doing a group investment brings in chunks of cash. And when we set up other agencies through my consulting firm, Passive Workforce, the price tag ranges from $15,000 to $30,000, depending on the state and level of support that we are being hired for. So as it stands between digital products and our top tier services, I feel confident that my team can convert the visibility into serviced clients. Now that we have the budget set to $10,000 in ad and social media spend and determined what I can actually sell, let me draw out a diagram on how this is all going to work and look. All right, so here's the plan itself. So for my day with Max, we're shooting a podcast. I'm also going to sneak in my own interview where I get to get him to talk about certain talking points that I want to capture because I'm going to take the content from his podcast as well as our interview and I'm gonna create unique ads to sell my programs and build out my Airbnb portfolio. So the thought pattern is this, with a $10,000 ad spend, I'm gonna allocate about $3,300 to each of these opportunities. Now my Killing the American Dream program pretty much teaches people how to invest in one to four family real estate. I've been doing this for about, I don't know, 17 years since 2006. So I have that system down pat. What I do in the Killing the American Dream program is I do this invest and learn. So the people who want to buy in can put up between ten dollars and $50,000 per person to participate in a flip that I do. My premium course, where you're not investing just to learn, is $2,000. So my idea is that I should be able to produce about five sales just from this promo. I'm also going to do one invest and learn and the typical return on an investment on the type of flips that I do are between 50 and $60,000. These are on like middle market properties, properties that are about $400,000 or so. So depending on the number of core sales and the split from the invest and learn, I should walk away with $40,000 from that single opportunity. Now remember, Max's audience is mostly interested in real estate and investing. So I think if I start to promote this through Max, using Max's image, I should also be able to convert some of that into the sales that I'm talking about. I'm also well known for investing in healthcare startups. So I have home care agencies and nursing agencies. And just about two years ago, I started to offer programs training people on how to start these agencies. So just like the Kill the American Dream program, people could sign up to my premium course for $2,000. Now I average anywhere from eight to about $20,000 in course sales per month, just organically as it is. So if I were to put some dollars behind this, again, talking to Max's audience, promoting the benefits of owning a, a nursing agency, that's really the way that I've been able to build my portfolio out, is taking profits from my business and reinvesting into real estate. By showing them that same technique, I'm sure there's a couple of people who are healthcare professionals that are gonna feel a lot more comfortable investing in a healthcare opportunity than they are in real estate. 
So I'm going to tap into that market as well by offering my passive workforce course. Now, the thing that I do in the passive workforce consulting company is that some people don't want to deal with all of the headache of starting one of these agencies. They turn to us to start them for them. So we have a turnkey program that starts at $15,000, depending on the state that you're in, where we set up everything for you. So if you're looking to start a nursing agency and you don't want to do all the legwork because you're working full time and you just don't feel like you're going to move fast enough, there's people who opt up or actually upgrade from the premium to turnkey where we handle it for them. So worst case scenario, that should generate another $40,000 in revenue. So already more than halfway to where we need to be. And here's the kicker, the Airbnb project that I want to take on, I want to get 12 more units. So I'm really looking to get a boutique hotel that I could turn into this Airbnb opportunity. I have triplexes now, and if I had to break it out into four properties, I will. If I have to get four properties to meet my 12 unit goal, so be it. I'd rather it be one property. But either way, based on how I assess deals and the way that I go into deals, I need to have at least 30% equity in my deals for it to make sense. So if I do the typical home in Florida, the ones that I invest in, we're talking about one to four properties for a total of $600,000 in equity. And I make about $1,000 a month on my Airbnb rentals in Fort Lauderdale. So if I do this in Naples or in Fort Myers or on the west side where they've been damaged by the hurricanes, I should be able to pick up some damaged properties or even an underserved or underperforming property, modify it, boost its performance, and generate $12,000 in cash flow. So in total, the one year return on investment from just doing this alone should produce $750,000 to my bottom line. Now, of course, $600,000 of that is equity, but the property will still cash flow around $12,000 a month for around $150,000 a year, and I walk away with that cash as well. Again, I'm gonna be promoting, trying to find someone who wants to work with me as a property scout. I typically buy my properties from the banks or other wholesalers. So I'm going to be looking to hire an internal property scout so that they're able to go and find the properties that I'm looking for, put my money to work and be able to deliver on this. Now, there's going to be a few people who are also in my Killing the American Dream program or who are just watching and interested in investing in Airbnb that may come along and invest in this opportunity with me. So it really depends on how I decide to market this thing, but I'm sure that this is going to be the cash cow in this entire project. Now, I know that these other programs perform and it's going to make me money. And from that, I get to put together the trip for my honey. If executed correctly, I certainly stand a chance to benefit in a major way from this exposure, validation from an authority in the space, and by being prepared with a monetization strategy that serves the interests of our viewers. Not to mention the unquantifiable value of what I will learn from Max and being introduced to a new audience. What do you think about my strategy? Do you think it will work or am I just wasting a bunch of money? Let me know in the comment section below. If you need help developing a similar strategy for your business, you can always reach out to me and my team at PassiveWorkforce.com, where we consult startups and growth stage businesses. If you want an example of how entrepreneurs think and how we design master plans to generate income, check out this video right here, where I give a breakdown as to how Max is making money off of this sort of campaign that he's doing with me.